Rob, a trailer dropped this morning. We got a trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog, which actually came out and hit online today. It dropped, and I'm going to tell you what. I'm seeing everybody talking crap about it. I actually read some people talking about Sonic the Hedgehog before I clicked on it. And a lot of people didn't like it. I thought, ooh, this is going to be a train wreck. And I opened the trailer, and I watched it. Now, you have to understand something. I've had zero interest in this movie. Other than the fact that they attached Jim Carrey to be a part of it, which I thought was pretty interesting. I really haven't had a lot of interest in this film at all. I didn't play a lot of Sonic, to be honest. I played a lot of the other era's games. I didn't play much Sonic. I actually thought it was kind of cute. Don't get me wrong. I, I am not sitting here saying, this is a great trailer. I'm not saying that. But considering I was expecting something really, really bad, and I always love seeing James Marsden in just about everything, I thought it was kind of cute the way they did the speed stuff, the way they incorporated some of the music, the way they incorporated some of the or the, you know, the sound effects that are very nostalgic and all that kind of stuff. Uh, look, was it great? No. But I thought it was at least a little bit cute, and I got to admit now I'm at least a little bit interested in this film. What did you think about it? It looks like a movie that came from like 1994 to me. <laughs> you know, with the... In my world, there's no verisimilitude in this movie, but one, I love James Marsden. He's great. And and I have to say, you know, Jim Carrey is is doing the perfect performance if I was like 10. You know, his <laughs> he, he literally is this mustache twirling villain. And, you know, when we were at CinemaCon, Paramount did a big presentation on this movie. And Jim Carrey was there. And he came out sort of in character with his big tub of popcorn. He's flinging popcorn into the audience of, of theater owners and stuff. And, you know, they were really promoting this film hard. But it just, it looks to me like this weird throwback to a different time uh, i i don't know who the audience for this movie is I, I mean if you liked it maybe the audience is broader than i thought maybe the nostalgia factor is something that's there i mean i thought in the trailer i love the line see the genesis of the character or whatever yeah that, that was that was clever i was like okay but i looked at this and i'm like it's not for me you know it's not and sonic isn't exactly blazing up the game uh game charts for young gamers today is it are people playing Sonic? I, I I honestly don't know. And let me be very clear again. I'm not saying this was a great trailer. I just thought it was cuter than I thought it was going to be. Ashley, you had a chance to watch it. Mm -hmm. What did you think about this trailer? I didn't think he was cute. I thought he was kind of annoying. But I uh, don't know. I, I I I just it kind of his character at Sonic kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And then Jim Carrey, like Rob was saying, yeah, I, I was like, is this? I wanted to know if it was PG. Like it just seemed so Nickelodeon to me. But right. Um, <clears throat> I uh, I grew up playing Sonic. I loved Sonic. I would beat all of them. I, I grew up with Sega, Joe Montana, Mortal Kombat. I was obsessed. And uh, so there is like that when he when he ran through the ring or someone dropped through a ring in the trailer, that made me like smile because I was like, oh, the rings. And I started thinking about all the different levels in Sonic. But other than that, um. Not yet. Maybe in the next trailer, I'll I'll be more on board. Rob, you were telling me because I couldn't make the uh, the Paramount one. What did you think? What were some of the things they showed us in the Jim Carrey cut that maybe well, in this one? Yeah, they did. What well, I should explain that the Jim Carrey comes out and goes, wait a minute, this movie is supposed to be about me, and uh, they actually recut a trailer. They should drop this online as part of marketing of just his character, and it's recut as if he's the hero of the movie. And it's there it was a lot more stuff of just him than we saw in this trailer, but it was pretty. I mean, but it was Jim Carrey in sort of Ace Ventura mode, and and it mm -hmm. it it was funny. I mean, look, Jim Carrey is clearly delivering a very committed performance in this movie, <laughs> and the Jim Carrey this tra Mr. Robotnik or I don't know if it was well, I think it was just Dr. called Robotnik. Robotnik. Yeah, you know, just Robotnik, and and it was funny that they made this trailer. It really sold. The gag, and I hope they do more of that. But even looking at this, I'm like, it's just not the kind of thing that I would watch at this point in my life. You know, it's it's not for me. But for what it is, it looks fairly amusing. I mean, the idea of having a CG Sonic, just why didn't they make a more... I, I guess you really can't. You can't make a more realistic Sonic that isn't a CG character. I mean, it would have been cool to see a practical, physical... Oh, ET. that's impossible. But that's, is that's, it? It's absolutely impossible. I don't know, man. What do you mean you don't know? How, how can you possibly have a physical in costume Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, you do both. Anything? You have a physical model. Okay, you're so a mix. 
So kind of like what they did with Yoda but, in the prequels, like a little bit yeah, practical. Yeah, but the design okay. of this character. I thought you were talking about just doing full out gu- no, little no, no, guy no, 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 no. But the design. <laughs> what I mean is the design of this character looks like it's animated, and everything else isn't. And it's it's not like Roger Rabbit animation or Detective Detective Pikachu animation. I thought it was very much Detective Pikachu animation. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, well, we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. 